Hi everyone, Sarah here. I have a card to share with you from the Not Too Shabby Shop. Uh, here is the information. I will have everything linked down below for you. Don't forget to log in to collect your reward, reward points. When you're making your purchases, for every dollar you spend, you get one reward point, and for every hundred points, you get a five dollar gift certificate. And any U.S. orders over sixty dollars ship for free. Um, Jamie has lots of new releases in the shop right now. So check it out and don't forget coupon code Sarah 10 for 10% off your purchase. Okay, so for the month of May, Jamie sent me this MFT stamp springtime critter stamp set, which is super cute. Um, I stamped out a couple of the images on some Bristol Smooth and used the um, Zig Clean Color Real Brush pens on it. I didn't film the coloring of the images, but I will do a future one for you guys with that. Um, just so you can see, I just use basic coloring when it comes to that. And then I also had the chance to use this die set from MFT, which is the downhill slope. Um, so I didn't really use it as a downhill slope, but I used it for um, my landscape and to create a little moving part on my card. So here is my card to share with you guys. Um, the background is all done with the Distress Oxide inks and I do have that to share with you guys. And then I also have the whole process on how I die cut my background, made my little slider and attached it in here with a penny. So I can show you guys how I put it all together. So there's my cute little turtle. I stamped the little bird right on top of him. It doesn't um, the image isn't like that, but I stamped them together. So I stamped the turtle first, and then I stamped the little birdie sitting on top and cut them all out, fussy cut them all out together. I did add a little bit of gel pen on the little dots and then added some sequins in. I did stamp those images too, or sentiments also. So super cute. He just wiggles through the little, little thing there slowly like a turtle. <laughs> Um, I didn't want to make him a spinner to spin all the way around, so he has two pieces of foam in there, but I do show that on the video so you'll see, um, so that he doesn't spin totally. It prevents him from, from spinning and going upside down, so it's just that he slowly moves through there, through the little track. And I just put it on a grey card base. I don't have anything on the inside just yet, but... Uh, yeah, so that is my card. I love these oxide inks. As you can tell, I'm a little addicted. All right, so um, I will attach all the process for you guys. Leave a comment, subscribe, and have a great day. Thanks, bye.
Okay, so I have my backgrounds completed. I've stamped my sentiments while my images were flat, or pieces were flat. I did cut um, a piece of the other side of the paper to go underneath the track and glued that down. And now what I'm going to do is put my little image on the track. So I placed it so that it would not go over the edge. I flipped it over. And for this one, I'm putting two um, little foam dots. And these are just foam dots that I have for my stash. And the reason why I want to do two is that if I did one, he would just be spinning. And because of the bird on the top, it'd be a little top heavy. So at least with the two, it's going to help guide him and he's not going to flip around. So I'm going to take the backings off of these pop dots and I have my American penny since we don't have pennies in Canada anymore. <laughs> and I'm just going to place it right over those two pop dots. So there is my little turtle and birdie and he just nicely goes through the track. He just has to go up and down to get through the little little hills and that's just because of the two pop dots. If there was just one it would go through but he would also be spinning so I didn't really want that. All right so now what I just have to do is put my foam tape onto the background here and I'm just gonna cut some off my roll. So you want to make sure that your foam tape is not going to get in the way of your penny. So I'm going to stick it across here and up here. Now I can't put it here and if I'm going to do this I need to do it a little bit smaller but what I'll do is I'll do some spots along the way where the penny is not going to hit just to help the top part stay in position. that and then do that there and I'm just gonna put this piece in here <coughs> excuse me and I'm just gonna add a skinny one there skinny one right here. Oh, my cats are angry. All right, so then I'm just going to take off my release paper. And then we're just going to place it on here so there we go my little turtle going for his walk with his birdie friend all right so we're gonna get that on a card front and add in some sequins and I believe I'm gonna add in some little butterflies from the stamped image also all right 